Today on All Things 80s, part 3 of the cheapest carded vintage Star Wars figures. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now here we are at part 3 in this series, which means we're now looking at the figures that came brand new on Return of the Jedi card backs. So I'm going to just jump straight into this. First up we have Admiral Akbar coming in at $80 and uh, horrendously yellowed bubble. The card's a bit warped but eh, it's alright for $80. Bucks. Uh, Gamorrean Guard, $76. Um, pretty tatty card, yellow bubble, but it's alright. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, $225. Pretty awful looking card with that nasty uh, knockdown price tag, yellow bubble, but it is a, a good figure and it is brand new, so 225. Leia in Bausch disguise, Bush Bausch, $135. That's not bad. Um, again, price sticker, uh, peg holes all kind of beaten up. Uh, it's okay. Emperor's Royal Guard, oh, classic figure. $140. It's, uh, it's not a reasonable condition, but whatever. Chief Chirpa. This was my one and only Ewok figure as a child. $95. Wow, very clear bubble. Uh, card's a bit scabby, but... Low Grey. $45. Now this probably is the cheapest one I've seen in the whole series. 45 bucks. Very yellow, but that's okay. Klaatu, hang on, Klaatu, $33, cheapest yet. Uh, scabby card, but again, it's a brand new figure. Weequay, $60. Uh, someone's ripped the price tag off and it's really done some damage. That's okay. Rebel Commando, $90. Again, bubbles quite yellow. Interesting that I'm getting a lot of yellow bubbles on these Jedi card back car uh, figures whereas the previous uh, ranges the, you know the Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back there were less yellow bubbles coming up on those cheap ones so I don't know if maybe they changed the plastic in 83 and it's more prone to yellowing but who knows General Medin $47 again the bubbles yellow now we're seeing a pattern here these figures are extremely cheap especially in comparison to the last two seasons but I suspect as we get to the very end of the range we're going to see the prices go back up again but we'll continue with this Lando Skithgard disguise $100 again the price tag has been ripped off this one Biker Scout $160 very nice figure this now this one the card is beaten up price sticker everything Neon Numb, and this was a card that had been cut along the top for some reason. Um, $80. I think most people would have got this figure free from the mailaways. I don't think I've ever seen one in a card before. I know that mine came from the mailaway. So 80 bucks for him. Squid Head, $76. Uh, it looks okay, I guess. Reese forty dollars. Horrendous card. Everything that could go wrong with the card has gone wrong with this card. It's creased. It's torn. It's got a price sticker. And surprisingly, the bubble's not yellow. There's no consistency here. Bib Fortuna sixty dollars. Mm, it's okay. Nikto fifty four dollars. Um, you know, it's okay. 88 $80 and we're seeing the uh, Emperor Mellowway offer on this one 80 bucks it's okay I guess Leia and Endor Poncho $100 uh, looks actually half decent Wicked Warwick $100 now as a quick side point here in my opinion this is the worst figure in the entire range it's absolutely tiny 
take off the headdress and it's a little teddy bear. Awful, awful figure. Hundred dollars though. The Emperor, one hundred dollars. Again, um, I think a lot of people would have gotten this figure via the mail away. Um, Klaatu and Skiftgard outfit, fifty dollars. Okay, probably the most irrelevant character to actually have two different figures made. Interesting choice. B-Wing Pilot, $65. And now we're getting the uh, mail away offers for the Power of the Force coins. I would not have really appreciated a coin as a child. Give me a free figure any day. ATST Driver, $72. Okay. Han Solo in trench coat, $100. Yes. I guess of all the hand figures, this one does kind of look like him the most. Another Ewok, Tebow, $45. And we've got staples holding the uh, card together. Pruneface, $40. Uh, this time we've got the Anakin Skywalker mail away. Now, this is going to be controversial. So we're talking about cards or figures that were released on Return of the Jedi cards. So next up we have Lumat, who many consider to be last 17, but here we have it. This was released on Return of the Jedi card. This is $105. And lastly, along the same lines, we have Paplu, also released on Return of the Jedi card, which is why he's included in this list. $100. So. To get things added up here, to get the entire range of figures mint on card that came with Return of the Jedi cards, that's only going to cost you $2,553, which is an absolute steal when you consider that the figures that came on Empire Strikes Back cards were costing us $8,864. And the figures that came on the Star Wars card backs were costing $39,985. So, the total for Star Wars, Empire and Jedi card back figures is coming in at $51,402. And bear in mind that does not include shipping. So, we're getting on with this series. So... Stay tuned for the next episode, which I'm sure you know what that's going to be about. I thank you for watching. Please do like, please subscribe, and see you in the next episode.